Okay, guys, this is the last thing I'm figuring on doing with the 2.1 inch throttle body injection head. We've moved the fin all the way over to the nine o'clock position. What can we say? Well, it's just a brick wall right in the, the line of sight for that Dica. So it changes the way it hits the back wall. It changes the way it hits the chamber. It definitely has more powdering near the plug than the last uh, one we did. We've got more splatters at that part of the chamber. And the valve is radically different as far as the way it... Uh, the way the dicum hits the valve. It really just aims it straight up at the valve. Okay, this valve is... Okay, we got that there, right? So you can see it's... That pattern is spread right across this side on the valve. Notice we don't have... There's not much on the bowl there. It goes right up and hits the valve and then goes out. Let's take a look and what, see what it does on the bore. Remember the last one we had was more like an eight o'clock position and it just sprayed liquid all over the bore. I would not think that's a great way to do it. Okay, this has got a much cleaner, much cleaner bore here. Some speckles, but not much. It's actually quite nice on the bore. Interesting, right? Maybe they do it for intake valve cooling. I don't know. Uh, I have a good DV story for about intake valve cooling. You would think the intake valve, right, since it's in the cool air stream and it has fuel in it, it wouldn't run that hot. And DV was talking about an engine that he was working on. He was able... It had very straight ports, so you could literally look right down the, the ram stack and you could see the valves. And he's like, while it was running on the dyno, the intake valves glowed red. Definitely something I wouldn't have thought about, but uh, wow. So yeah, if you could cool the valve a little bit more with the fuel or actually use the heat of the valve to evaporate the fuel, that may be a, a way to go, especially if you're using you know, alcohol. For some reason, this Glidden, the Glidden fin, which was the last one, and this fin in this direction remind me of uh, alcohol. Maybe sprint car heads or something. It, it's in the back of my brain somewhere. Uh, if I'm wrong, please, please correct me, guys. Okay, you can see I added a couple bumps to that clay on the floor by accident with the, uh, the pito. Can't win them all. Okay, I want to get a view of this. I'm going to roll this head over. Okay, FYI, I took that clay and I took all the dicum off from the last uh, flow. So all that dicum is new. Okay, you can see we've got a curve straight up liquid from that, from that fin. And then it would keep going to the left and we'll cross that valve. It's very interesting. Well, it's interesting to me. In any case, why don't we take a look and see what it did to the flows in the swirl because that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, it is definitely not a flow winner, but with a huge fin right in the, the fastest airstream path, I wouldn't think it would be. Okay, I don't think they put that fin in that position. We should go over which cut is which. Here, this was 41, this was 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock position, and this was 42 clay fill, 9 o'clock position, okay? So we, we straighten that out more, it's more of a dam. So we got minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, 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 almost all minuses, okay? It's a, it's a loser when it comes to flow but it doesn't squirt the liquid all over the 
the wall and it doesn't have this issue about being unstable between 500 and 600. Take a look at what it does to our swirl. Let's put some pluses and minuses in there. It wrecks it. I don't even think we need to. I think they're all minuses except for the very first one. Yeah, this is our only plus. Everything else is a minus. It's completely dead in the mid-range. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like this curve. Nope. Because let's say 600, 700 is not enough swirl to really do what I want to do. Okay, last one, 600, it was like 280. This time we're only 267, so we took a sizable hit down in flow. And how did our, our speeds do? Well, we actually, the roof of our pinch got better. The rest of the pinch started to slow down relatively even across the pinch at this point. As far as our roof, we got center of the cylinder sped up because the air can get out that way. The other side's got a big divider in the way, so it went down on that side. Our short side didn't change as much as you would think, right? Only changed a couple here, plus. Only changed a couple here, minus. Only changed a couple here, plus. Before I forget... It, it's awesome because Stan Weiss watches, obviously, and he'll he'll take some of the info that we do on this and he'll he'll do a bunch of calculations and run them through his programs. And he'll just he'll just send me the information because he, he's interested and he's he's a great guy. So let me grab my other phone and pull up a couple of pictures and I'll explain it. OK, see if I can blow this up. Obviously, I'm taking it off one phone and recording it with the other phone. OK. So thin graph lines, Chevy, swirl ported, Charlie, thick graph lines, 37. Okay, and he explains it down at the bottom, okay? He took one of the better cuts, probably around 27, was a 208, 228 cc port. And 37 is like a 240 cc port, but we filled like 20 cc's of it. And you can see, sorry guys, try to keep these both alive at the same time. Which one's better? Well, we get a nice, we get a nice peak. We get a nice peak here, right? So that is the th thin line. And thin is, sorry guys. Okay, so what, what basically, Basically, I was being told by Stan is, hey, you were you were better. <laughs> you were better how many cuts ago, right? 27 was definitely better everywhere. Now we can take a look at our, our swirl. Okay, same thing. Our swirl was a, a higher curve the way it was before we opened up, took the swirl ramp out, and clayed the roof. Interesting stuff, and uh, I'm sure, sorry guys, I'm trying to do two things at once. But uh, I appreciate Stan taking some time and, and do, doing this stuff and then sending it to me, because it's always interesting. But yeah, I know we've uh, went over the peak with these heads, you know, a while ago. But doesn't mean we can't learn something from it. Um, I think I'm going to work on... The smaller valve, I'll bring it up to a, um, maybe a 202 and see what I can get out of that with a, a real short side radius. Oh, you know what I promised I would do? Ugh, I would promise I would do this port. Fill the short side radius. Got to do that for you guys. All right. You can tell I'm thrilled about it. In any case, thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.